Jane. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I'm no theologian, so I don't know what the Bible, like I can't come up and, with a verse that the Bible says directly about that, but if you have sex, your chances of having a baby are very high. It's, yeah, So that happens. That's science. So if you want lots and lots of kids, no birth control, but if you are like, I think we can do two, three, then maybe birth control is a, a good thing. I don't yeah. think that that is, in my opinion, a sin or unbiblical or whatever. So, You know what you call couples that don't use birth control? Parents. Parents. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I've, I, I don't think that the Bible speaks to uh, positively or negatively to using uh, birth control. I think that uh, it is, in some cases, it's wise. Uh, I think this is a, a situation where couples need to come together and determine. It's like, how long are we going to wait before we have kids? Um, what, what do we believe uh, is the number of children that we are supposed to have? Jane and I were really good at making babies. I mean, in our 20s, it was, I looked at her and she got pregnant. And so I was 27 and she's like, you're getting fixed. And I'm like, I ain't getting fixed. I'm still young. I'm ready to roll. And she's like, no, well, you're not rolling over here uh, <laughs> until you go see Dr. Threw, because we threw. And uh, so at 27, I got fixed. Um, I will say that we had wished we maybe had one or two more uh, later on, so be cautious in how you take care of that. But I think that there is wisdom uh, um, in couples. Now, I'm not talking about the morning after pill. I'm not talking about uh, uh, abortion. I'm not talking about any of those kinds of things. Those are not, that's not contraception. But what I am talking about is planning uh, your families and, and being wise in that. Yeah, I was totally going to say that too, that <clears throat> people are using abortion now as birth control. You know, it's the morning after pill, or I don't even know what the other one is, yeah. or just a full-fledged abortion, and that is not birth control. Right. So, yeah. And as far as God to provide or not to provide uh, children, yes. I mean, God has set. It's it's like should I jump off a cliff and expect God to catch me? It's like no. God set certain laws into place. The law of gravity. You step off a cliff, you're going to fall. Uh, hus a man and a woman get together sexually, the odds are pretty soon, sooner or later, you're going to get pregnant. You keep doing that, you're going to keep getting pregnant. And uh, I have a friend of mine who um, years ago, he, I think he had eight children at that time. They ended up having 12. And he said, well, we just believe that the hand of the Lord is what opens and closes the womb. And I'm like, I don't think it's the hand of the Lord that's the problem. I think, I think you've got a part to play in this here. Uh, and uh, they ended up having like 12 kids and, you know, were financially strapped and, and it was very difficult. Now they had wonderful kids. I don't think they would ever regret any of them, but uh, I think there is wisdom in planning a, a little bit. So 